Things I wish that I knew before I started playing Boom Beach Warships. Guys, the chicken is here. We're back today with another Boom Beach video. Uh, so in today's video, you guessed it, we're going to be talking about things that I wish I knew before starting uh, my first season or before, you know, everyone it, with Warships is very, like, specific and um, it's... It's not really something you can kind of figure out on the go. You really do have to have a, a plan, um, come with a plan, or leave and defeat, right? That's the slogan of the Boo Beach thing. But, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about uh, just some generic tips and stuff to help you guys get started um, on your Warship Seasons. Let's do a quick recap of uh, Season 44. So we're over here on the mini account, and we got up to rank 12. So I called that a win. 52 battles fought, 34 won, 17 lost, 1 draw. We got some diamonds. We got some tickets. Um, so not too shabby. But more importantly, we are finally moving back over to the main account where you guys can see we did get our 16th top 500 finish. So that was pretty cool right there. Number, uh, the big number 1-6. And yeah. So what are some things that... Um, Oh, and I guess we'll show the position. I think it was like 180. It might actually be my best finish ever, um, which is kind of sad because I parked like seven days or like five days. How early did I park? I don't know, like five days early on this account. So 182, pretty cool. Um, but next season, I think we're going to gun for the top 50, but we'll talk more about that in a second um, or maybe another video entirely. So some things that I knew that I wish that I had known before starting Warships. So... I think number one, the biggest thing, and this kind of goes for everybody, um, you, and I still get comments about this when I talk about it, um, just simply knowing that as soon as the season starts, you are on the clock. The chests start ticking. Yesterday I talked a little bit about, um, you know, hopefully they change it to three out of four starting rather than four out of four starting. And the reason for that is as soon as the season starts, you are technically at a disadvantage the longer it takes you to get into your first match. Why? Because you start the season at four to four chests. You're not going to get your next chest. It's not The timer on it is not going to start. It's eight hours between those chests. And the timer is not going to start until, um, un until you've collected that first one. So say, for example, you know, you're in a weird time zone and for whatever reason, you missed the first 12 hours of warships, right? Um, that puts you at a 12 hour chest disadvantage because everybody else that was able to get that chest immediately, they are now 12 hours ahead of you when they're going to get that next chest. And uh, you know they're, they're gonna be a little bit further ahead of you on the tech tree at every turn. And it's just going to make it harder, albeit not impossible, um, to progress. You wanna have things go in your favor, right? Um, so that makes it tricky, that makes it difficult. Um, so that, that's definitely one of the things like right out of the gate. And then, you know, some of the, like something next I would say is, is just realizing that um, your tech tree choices are extremely important and it's really hard to come back from bad tech mistakes. So say for example, right out of the gates, um, you unlock something that turns out to not be very good um, and it doesn't really help you move forward. So there's the fact that it's not helping you move forward and uh, because you didn't get that other thing, you've now wasted keys or uh, tech, we would call it, on um, on that specific upgrade. So it's going to take you even longer now to get to the other thing. And that's going to mean that you're getting there slower than everybody else. So it's like a compounding issue almost um, if you don't make the right tech paths. Now, uh, something that I wish I had known when I started really getting into warships more and trying to play more competitively and stuff, I was always about, you know, like I just said in the first point, start that season right at zero seconds, get that first chest, go, go, go. Um, you don't have to be that intense either. That's definitely, you know, depending on what your goals are, um, if you just want to make the top 500, especially now without China, you don't have to do that at all. You, do, you know, you can start um, a few hours late. I wouldn't go like... If it gets to the point where you're like a full day behind or you're 12, 16 hours behind, then you're going to run into some issues. Um, but you don't have to go too crazy with it at the same time. That only applies if you're able to unlock all of your chests and you're playing almost every day. If you miss a full day, um, especially at the beginning of the season, 
it's really going to be tough to come back from that. Um, again, it's possible, but, um, you know, it's something that you need to do. The next thing is that your stars carry over every season. So I don't have the uh, the chart with me, um, but you get a f you get forty percent of your stars back. So for me, for example, I finished rank twenty four. Um, that's going to put me in that same position, rank twenty three to twenty four fifty. So I'm going to start at rank uh, I forget it's twelve or thirteen next season. Opposed to if I did not play at all this season, I would be starting at rank zero. Now. This causes a lot of controversy and a lot of confusion. Um, an interesting note, and shout out to Mr. Boom in the comments yesterday. An interesting thing to note is that the global, I believe he was the global number two player, started at rank, you guessed it, zero. So it's not to say that it's unfair or, um, you know, if you played really badly in the previous season or, you know, for the examples we just listed, you weren't able to really push a lot. Um, and you finish with a low rank, does that necessarily mean, you know, you're going to have a bad season the following season because you don't have as much starting tech? Not really. What does it come down to? The biggest thing, again, is just making smart tech tree choices. So if you don't um, have a good plan and if your plan, um, you know, doesn't set you up for success right away and you kind of go off the path, again, it gets into those like compounding problems where, um, it's going to start to get really difficult to get ahead, um, especially if you're starting at a bit of a disadvantage. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, th that's one of the biggest things. But, I mean, obviously, if you can get more tech at the very beginning, it's going to be, it's going to make things faster. It's going to make things a little bit easier, but it's not the end all be all at the same time. We're going to go ahead and retreat there. I don't know what was going on. I don't know why we're finding these crazy bases in rank, uh, like with 300 <laughs> trophies or whatever we have. Um, so, yeah. Let's find a new guy over here. And so there's different ways you can play the season. Um, again, something I wish I had known from the start. Um, you can take different paths or different plans, and they kind of both end up working in the long run. Um, so there's the... What I typically do is I typically unlock stuff that is safe, that I know is good, even if it's not good in the moment, I know it's not going to put me behind. And these are typically defenses. So if you play things safe and unlock defenses at the start and don't really go out of your way too much and then just make your way, you know, as quickly as you can towards the heavy choppers um, or whatever is good for that season, maybe it's Seekers, for example, maybe it's something else, um, you know, more often than not, that's going to put you in the better position at the very end of the season. Typically, that's what I do. Sometimes you can go off path. And um, usually this is for players that, um, you know, really either enjoy or are really skilled at using rocket choppers or seekers. Um, you can get away with doing it that way um, as well. But the thing is, if you're going to do that, you have to rank up and get your rank chests um, in order to justify going off of the path and getting those keys, right? So um, you can do that, or you can play the safe way. It just depends on your preference and your playstyle, style, right? Um, so some other kind of generic tips is every rank chest you get, it's very important to always stay in the, the highest rank that you can. Typically, the seasons are determined your position anyways, is by who can get to diamond early, who can get to gold early, and who can maintain that, right? So if you're in between 15 and 16, for example, you want to make sure that you get to 16 as quickly as you can. And if you can do that while having all of your chests, which we don't have on the screen right now, um, you're going to be able to open them all in the next rank. That's going to give you more keys and allow you to get ahead even further. Um, same thing, same thing for every other rank. That's always the biggest thing in Warships, is just getting to that next rank and being able to maintain it. It sounds obvious, but it's very true. Um, another thing is when you're stuck kind of between those two ranks, so we'll do Diamond and Legendary for this. Um, when you're stuck between those two, if you finish an attack and you clear six or seven engines um, and you get those engine rooms towards your next chest, if you don't allow the attack to finish, so... If you're playing and then you force close, so you take the app and you force close it, those engines, as long as you're not, you don't have the game up as the match ends, 
those engines will count towards your next chest. So that's very helpful in situations where you're going back and forth between ranks and um, you can do that as a way of not having to play maybe two matches in a row or something like that. It just saves you playing an extra match and you get to keep those engines that you destroyed, right? So, um, yeah. So I know that was kind of all over the place, but just some generic stuff that uh, that I was thinking about that I you know really had wished that I had known um, before I started playing. But I mean, that's what makes it so fun, right? It took me... Uh, a long time to figure all this out, as I'm sure it did you guys um, from starting off right away, um, way back to uh, to season one, which, you know, season 45, back to the roots. A lot of you guys are thinking it's going to be similar to that. Could be. We have to wait and see uh, for right now. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Bear.